got your old mommy here today to do a bag review on a brand new brand to my channel, you guys. This is the Andar brand. It's the Andar Addison. And you guys, let me talk real quick about the name of this bag. So again, the brand is Andar and the name of this bag is Addison. Now I have four kids. My oldest is 26. She's a firefighter all the way down to kindergarten age. And my third child, her name is Addison. We call her Addie. So this bag right away before I ever even received it. I knew that I had to have it because it has her name and it's so, so beautiful. But the Andar brand was started in 2015, you guys. So about five years ago and the word Andar, which I learned from their brand, and I do speak a little bit of Spanish, but I did not know this. The word Andar means to carry or to ride. And part of their kind of like mission statement is that their goal is to minimize and organize what you carry. And I love that. I love that about the company. So they use nothing but premium, high quality, full grain leather. So this beautiful Andar Addison, you guys, is made up of 100% premium, full grain oil waxed leather. And it is so, so, so beautiful. And what's great about this leather, you guys, is that it's going to patina as you use it. It's going to take on its own personal characteristics from you. It's gonna get little marks on it. And I love that. I love character. I love bags that gain character as you use them. And this bag is so soft, it's so soft, it's so lovely, and it's really lightweight. I wanna say it's one of the lightest weight bags that I own, and if I can get the weight on it, I will go ahead and put it right here if I can figure out how much this bag does weigh empty. But I was shocked, you guys, when I pulled it out and found out how light it is. And part of that has to do with the lining, I think, that they used on the interior of the bag, which we'll talk about in a minute. So Andar is well known for their wallets, you guys. They're really well known for their wallets and their kind of accessories, but the Addison is Andar's first delve into the bag world. So this bag here is a dedicated backpack bag. It does have one grab handle at the top, and when you flip it around, it has two backpack straps. Now I want you guys to take note here of the backpack straps and how they're anchored. See the top part, how it's anchored very close together, but down at the bottom kind of comes wider apart. And what I found with this bag is that that really helps it stay on your shoulders comfortably. It helps the drape, helps it hang really nice so that you don't have them slipping off your shoulders, especially when you're moving. Now I am short and fluffier than I want to be. My husband is six foot and about 240 pounds. And my son who turns 17, you guys, in like a minute, it's tomorrow, his birthday is tomorrow. He is six foot, about six foot one and about 135 pounds, totally skinny. This setting right here, we all wore this bag on this setting for you guys. So you can see what this bag set just like this looks like on three very different body types. So stay tuned to the end of the video so you can see those shots and see how this bag hangs on a five foot three woman, a six foot man who's built like a linebacker and a really skinny six foot one teenager. But again, one of those features that I again wanted you to look at is just how well anchored this bag is. So the straps are anchored really nicely down here. I'm not afraid that they're gonna come loose really nice and tight. You have this beautiful brass hardware on this bag. So this is a very high quality brass hardware all over the bag. I have no slipping with this. The adjustment stays right where I leave it. It's beautiful and I'll let you take a look down here at where the bag's anchored at the bottom as well. Anchored very, very nicely. The other thing while we're back here, you guys, is this is the only place where you're gonna see the brand on the bag. It's a blind embossed stamp on the back side of the bag. It's super understated. And for those of you who don't know, I work in the med legal field. And this is something I really appreciate, especially for a bag that I'm going to carry for work, where it's just really sleek, really luxurious looking, but really understated as well. This is such a clean look. I love it when brands do this with their logo. Coming around to the front of the bag, what you're gonna notice is that there's no bottle pockets on this bag. That's because this is not a diaper bag, you guys. This is a dedicated backpack bag. You can use it as a diaper bag. You can use it as a mommy bag. You can use it as a work bag, school bag, whatever you want, but there are no bottle pockets on this bag. I think the lines of this bag are so beautiful, so sleek. I love it. And this front pocket right here, you guys, they're essentially their mommy pocket. What you're gonna notice when I start unpacking it is how expansive it is. So this is their slip pocket or their bucket pocket but I have it so full and the bag still remains streamlined because of the way the pocket comes out like this at the front. Really, really well done. So right here again, we have the brass hardware, we have the leather zipper pull, and we have these beautiful zippers. Again, all that's brass hardware with the YKK zipper, super smooth zippers. I love a good zipper, you guys, you know that. But this is what the front slip pocket looks like before I take anything out. There is no internal organization built into this pocket, but right here in the front, I kept my full size mini Filofax Malden. I'm using this as my wallet. It is a three ring binder. And I'm using again as a wallet. 
If anybody's interested in a full review of that, I will link it up in the iCards above. And then also in this pocket right here, I have my Limea brand Pretty Pod, and this has my hair accessories in it for myself and my girls. So in here I have some hair elastics, hair ties, hair clips, and a poppable hairbrush. And again, this is the Limea brand Pretty Pod. And then I also have my Dagny Dover business card case with my business cards in it. And that is everything that I have in that front slip pocket. Let me go ahead and give you a look right here. Okay, so this front pocket, you guys, I'm going to try to give you a good look at it. I'm going to do that by putting my hand in here because this bag does have a black lining. Now, one of the reasons I think this bag is really light is that it's lined with a microfiber. So this front part of this pocket right here is a really soft microfiber. This back pocket right here is the full grain leather. So it's the same oil wax leather that's on the front right here is on the back side of the pocket right here. And then this side of the pocket is that felt, really nice felt. But you guys, this whole pocket, look how deep this pocket is. It's just a huge pocket. I could have put so much more in there and it doesn't dig into the front of the bag. All right, moving to the top part of the bag, we have one zipper to open the bag. I'm gonna give you a shot of what the bag looks like before I take anything out. So right on the top right here, I have my Tom sunglasses. And now this is what the bag looks like. And again, this bag does have the microfiber. So it's lined with a really lightweight, really soft microfiber. So it keeps the bag, again, low weight, but it also makes it so it's scratch resistant. So if you put anything that's scratchable, like an iPad or a camera, anything like that in here, the front of your iPhone screen, it's gonna stay nice and protected. So sitting right here on the front right here, I have my Orchid Hearts Designs wipe case in the Little Monsters print. Then right here in the front right here, I have a 12 little small pouch from the trio set. And this is my COVID pouch. So in here, you guys, I have masks for everyone in my family. I have some Marley's Monsters on paper towels. I have some nitro gloves. I have a little container that has sheets of soap if we needed it and a little mirror. And now this is what the bag looks like. Now sitting right here, have my Stony Clover Lane mini pouch and this is in the hearts print so it's their Hello Kitty collab and in here I have some fidget stuff to keep my kids entertained if I had them with me and we needed to spend some time waiting for any reason so this is a tangle and this is just a lot of fun so it's a tangle and then I have a couple of the fat brain toys simple dimples And then I also have a couple of fidgets for the adults. I have a flippy chain fidget by Tom's Fidgets. And I have a Moby here. And the reason I'm showing you guys is I get a lot of questions on these. This is a small Moby and these are fully customizable, the colors, the size. And this is what the bag looks like now. So sitting right underneath that one pouch is another Stony Clover Lane pouch. And this one is in the airplane print. It's also a Hello Kitty collab print. And this is my mini med kit. So in here I have a bug bite thing, some allergy medication, some tummy medication, some Tums for the older ones in my family, a sunscreen, um, a chapstick with SPF in it. And then in here, this is an extra small Kipling creativity pouch. And in here I have all of my bandages. This is all my band-aids, neosporin, gauze pads, another sunscreen, nail clipper is a whistle. But all that fits beautifully right in here. And you guys, one of my new favorite finds, because I know you guys always ask me about my med kits, are these Tylenol packets. Now you do have to be six years or older to use these, but they're instant dissolve and they are amazing. And this is what the bag looks like right now. So this is a small Stony Clover Lane pouch, and this is in the bow print. And this is my snack, press, snack pouch. And here is just a bunch of snacks for my girls. I have some table topper mats. I have some of the Trader Joe's fruit leathers. I have some of the applesauce packs from Costco. I have some trail mix, a couple protein bars. I could fit so much more in here, but that's what I have going on in here right now. 
So this is what the bag looks like now, and hopefully you can get a better look right here at what this looks like. I'm just making some marks in it with my fingers so you can see that really soft lining. So right here in this pocket, just some of my quick grab stuff. I have a cuticle cream, I have my hand cream, and I have some lip stuff. Is that it? That's it for that pocket. And in this pocket right here, I have my favorite hand sanitizer right now by Touchland. These two slip or bucket pockets right here that I just emptied out are also trimmed with that beautiful oil waxed leather. Now back here on the back side of the bag, you're gonna see there is one zippered pocket. It is also trimmed out with that beautiful oil wax leather. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And in here, the only thing I have in here is my rough and tumble clutch pouch. And this is my mini med kit for me. Out of my essentials, this has my migraine medication, contacts, a mirror, dental floss, little things for me that I don't want the girls to be able to get at very easy. All right, you guys, I'm gonna try and know that the lining is dark, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to get you a nice shot of what the inside of the bag looks like. I was so pleasantly surprised when I started packing this bag up. When I first received it, I thought, wow, it's not gonna hold very much because it is so streamlined, so thin profiled, but it really does hold so, so much. Now, one of my favorite pockets on this bag, you guys, believe it or not, is this back secret or hidden pocket right here. Now, this is a great place to keep your passport. It's a great place to keep your wallet. And sometimes I like to use a much smaller wallet. For you guys who have been watching my videos for any length of time, you know that I do have like card case type wallets. I would love to put that back in here. But I wanted to show you what a full size, really chunky wallet would look like in that front pocket. But back here, again, is why I put some quick grab things a small wallet it could be a passport, although I'm not going anywhere, and I don't know that I'm going anywhere in the near future. But back here right now, I think all I have is a potty seat cover. Yes. So right now, I have a disposable potty seat co cover for public restrooms back there. You can put whatever you want to be able to get at easily, but you don't want other people to know about right there. And again, it's got one of those beautiful YKK zippers as well. So one of the things I do want to mention is that the Addison does hold up to a 13 inch laptop. Now I don't have a 13 inch laptop you guys, but I do have a, I'm trying not to send a reflection of my husband to you guys while he records. I do have a 12.9 inch iPad Pro. This is the 2020 iPad Pro. I'm going to go ahead and stick it right on in here so you can see. And I keep my finger at the top because I know it is dark in here, but look at all the room you still have at the top of this. And again, I'm not afraid to just slip this in here because the lining of this bag is so soft and scratch resistant. I'm not worried about it damaging my screen at all, but you do have again, quite a bit of room at the top. And again, this one does measure 12.9 inches. Well, that's it for me, you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.